What we'll do now, we'll remove the, uh, the inlet hose. Now what you'll see is I've actually made a slight incision on the lower half of the hose. Uh, this can be done as we'll not longer use this hose, we'll, we'll be later chopping a section out. Um, now at the same time, uh, it's good to get it off with the small incision because it is a hose that doesn't like to give it up easy. So slight little cut through the inner guard and uh, it'll come off nice and easy for you. Now, from the same place we just removed that hose from, we'll install the supplied hose. Now, we will be fitting a new EFI style hose clamp and not using the, uh, the spring clamp as this will give us problems later on in the priming procedure. Yeah, it is in a bit of a difficult spot. It's not impossible. So you want to make sure it's on a good part of an inch. Oh, and secure the hose clamp. Now, once you get it down there, it's always easier to secure it through the inner guard. This now inlet has to go into the inlet of the water watch. Now to do so, there's a left to right arrow on the uh, main unit of the water watch. So quite simply, it'll just go up and behind. Now once it's through, remove the cap from the inlet. Of the water watch. Now it is easier if you actually remove the banjo fitting from the water watch.
Now you want to make sure the hose is at least covered to the barb. Just like so. Now once you've worked out the orientation of the hose, it's a lot easier to secure that now. Now you can reinstall that banjo bolt into the unit. All right, now that's the inlet done. Now we've got to replumb the inlet of the fuel filter from the water watch. We do that the same way, quite simply. Remove the plug again. Now we've got to get the previously uninstalled hose and we're quite simply going to cut the section out between here that gives us the nice edges. So the previously cut end We'll quite simply cut it just after, and then that there will then be installed onto the water watch, like so. Hose clamp first. Again, at least to the end of the barb, and quite simply, we'll remove the factory spring clamp. And then again, with the good hose clamp, fit to the factory unit. Now we'll tighten the hose clamps, and then we'll orientate the banjo from the water watch. Okay, and then we'll just double check the banjo bolts are happy. Just quite simply, firm nip, making sure they're orientated where the hose sits best. And that'll save any dramas of having a suction restriction from a kinked hose. Now that's the initial part of getting the water watch unit and bracket in. Now 
we'll, uh, we'll go through the wiring process and then we'll be on to the uh, priming and draining procedure.